Hi there, my name's Kenny Young, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about some of the sound work I did recently for Foam Sword Games Knights and Bikes Kickstarter campaign video. The video was a really good opportunity for me to try out some ideas I've got for the audio experience in the game. And a real focus for me was its retro sound aesthetics. Recreating old sounds and styles of sound is something I've got a real passion for. Uh, I've got a pretty significant collection of old audio technology, um, recording devices, reel-to-reel -reel tape machines, a wire recorder, magnetic disc recorder, and one of my current obsessions is carbon microphones from the early 20th century. Um, I've got one here, in fact. Check this guy out. This is, uh, this is amazing. You can literally hear the carbon granules rubbing up against each other, jumping around inside the microphone. Um, it's full of character. I just love it. So old sound really infuses and informs a lot of my work. And that's because old sound is flawed sound. It's idiosyncratic. And that, for me, is really attractive and something that I really, really aim to get into my work. And it's much more appealing than a lot of the more modern, clean, cold and clinical approaches to music and sound production. It's also a really good fit for Rex's hand-painted art style in this project. But looking beyond that, there are a couple of reasons why a retro sound is appropriate for nights and bikes. The first is, well, it's set in the 1980s, so obviously we want to have a little bit of a, a nod and a wink towards that. And I think you can hear aspects of that in Daniel's lovely music that's in the trailer. But for me, it's much more about really trying to create the sound of my childhood. One way I've tried to achieve that is through sonic references to things that really meant something to me when I was a kid. So for example, the sword constellation that appears above the island in the trailer. That is scored by a sound which is heard in the intro to He-Man when Castle Grayskull appears. The secrets of Castle Grayskull. This... It's a really famous sound effect called Castle Thunder, um, which you can, you can get in, in sound libraries. So I've got a license to use that. And it, it's, it's, it's been used all over the place. Uh, perhaps most famously, you can hear it in the, when Luke begins his trench run on the Death Star in the original Star Wars movie. So that sound is part of the fabric of my childhood. Another way that I've tried to pay homage to the 1980s is by bouncing all the audio in the trailer to cassette tape, that wonderful steampunk technology we had when I was a kid. So for Daniel's music, I gave that the five star treatment and I bounced that to a type four metal cassette. Um, and then but with the sound, I was a little bit, bit rougher. I put it onto a much cheaper tape, um, bought off of eBay. And uh, I, that is like four generations old. It's been bounced to tape four times to just really try and munge the sound up a bit. So here's an A-B comparison between the original kind of pristine digital version of the trailer. And now the cassette tape version. is pretty subtle stuff even by my standards you can hear a subtle warbling in the high end and um, but it's not quite as wonky as I remember cassette tape being so I've got a little bit of R&D and homework uh, to do there to really try and push that and bring back that sound that I'm familiar with uh, but I'm looking forward to to going deeper into that and, and doing some of that work the last thing I wanted to highlight are the 8-bit sound effects in the video game parts of the trailer That's not something I've had to do before, to be honest. So I had a lot of fun learning how to create those sounds from scratch and create sounds that were suitable for the action with the limitations of that technology uh, and the uh, really lo-fi voice samples that, that, that go with them. Um, that was a lot of fun and I look forward to going deeper into that world too. 
So there we go, that was just a little look into the level of TLC that would go into making the, the sound for Knights and Bikes if I get the opportunity to do so. Big thanks to everyone who has backed the Kickstarter thus far. If you are watching this video outside of Kickstarter, then a link to the Kickstarter page will be appearing here. And that just leaves me to say thank you and cheerio.